Hello, welcome to the History Department at Benfield School. I'm Mr Carr, the curriculum leader for History. The History Department at Benfield aims to take you on a tour through lots of the most exciting parts of history, mostly medieval England in Year 7. So we'll be making stops on our tour through wars, uh, through rebellions, through riots, um, and looking at some of the big questions like how do people win power? How do they keep power? Why do they believe the things that they believe, particularly to do with the church? And how was disease and illness treated in the medieval period? Through year eight, we'll move into the Tudor period. We'll look at some of the most famous kings and queens that we've had in England, Henry VIII and Elizabeth I, people you might have heard of. And we'll finish that year with looking at something about the slave trade uh, and how that happened and, and how terrible that event was. By year nine, we'll move into more modern history. So we'll be looking at things like the First World War, its causes, what conditions might have been like for soldiers during that war, and what its significance was. We'll move into more modern wars and looking particular, particularly at media. So how has it been represented in film? How has it been represented, or actually at the time, on radio or in newspapers? And that's all aiming to build towards your GCSEs, where lots of the skills and lots of the content you've learnt at Key Stage 3 is really about preparing you for study at GCSE, where we'll look at Weimar and Nazi Germany, we'll look at Elizabethan England, we'll look at medicine through time, a really big piece of history from about 1250 to the present day, and finally we'll look at uh, the American West, so going over to America, the settlement of the West, um, how whites really colonised the whole continent, or the whole of the United States of America. We focus on developing three key skills at Benfield. We focus on knowledge and understanding, which is really the bread and butter of history. It's what happened, when did it happen, we look at the cause of each event, why did it happen, we look at its impact and significance. So what did it lead to, and why is it important, why do people remember it? And of course, knowledge and understanding also just includes the facts. It's inescapable. You do sometimes just have to learn the dates. When did things happen? History is one of the most exciting subjects because it takes you on a tour through some of the most exciting parts of everything that's happened in the world. The stories are exciting because they're not made up. They have all happened. And of course, you get the chance to make up your own interpretation. You get a chance to look at the story, look at the evidence, and come up with your own version of what you think happened, why you think it happened, and why you think that's significant. History will help equip you with some of the important skills that you will need outside of your life in school. Things like critiquing evidence, uh, thinking about why people say the things they say, whether you can believe them or not, or how to sift through lots and lots of evidence, how to weigh it up and decide which really is convincing. So in a world where we have lots of conflicting, contradictory information, history helps us to weigh up and decide what the most convincing arguments are, which is particularly useful for looking at things like the news or the things that are going on in the world around us. History really does help equip us to be able to understand them and put them into context.